Hey guys, what's up? It's Shirt Talking. Welcome back to my channel. Another video for our universe. Now we'll be talking about something that is always important. It's like one of the most important things that you as a player can do on the game. And let's click here on news and I'll be talking about it. It's the player survey. Yeah, they just announced another player survey that we can participate and get 300 free jewels so that we can give them feedback to improve the game. Well, it's very easy to participate, you just have to click here, on tap here, to take the survey. But if you don't want to do this on the mobile phone, you may just click on the link on the description that I'll be posting, that will also give you access to the survey. So, we'll be doing this on the browser because it's easier to discuss. So, wait a minute. And here we are on the browser, with the survey open. Let's read and discuss other things here. So, the first thing are just about, uh, well, information about how to participate, the rules and everything. We don't really need to do this. Let's just click here on next. And they will ask you for the server, okay? We'll just click on America. And I'll be giving my game ID, but I'll be skipping this part. And now that I inputted my player ID and my username, Let's just give a look on everything that they are asking. I believe I saw this question before. How long do you spend a week playing the game? They want to know who is hardcore now. And you know, yes, kind of more than 24 hours for a week. Which of the following best describes your in-game connecting quality? It's stable, it's getting better. They asked this before and they probably did something to make it better. I also noticed that they uh, reduced the size of the images that belong to loading screens and also to the news section. They compacted a lot of things to make the connections and loading screens to take less, uh, less amount of time. Now, which of the following best describes how long it takes to connect the game? I believe now it's 3 to 5. Usually it was 5 to 10 before they make this change. Regarding the difficulty of getting event rewards for November of December, what describes your very experience? I believe it was... Um, let's see, event rewards. Event rewards is just like the things that drop. Because the banner is not a reward. I believe that it was a little easy. There was some hard content. But I don't think it was... Well, oh no, I believe it was just right. Well, regarding the difficulty of the events for November and December, which best describes your experience? It was... Uh, well, a little easy for me. But I guess just right is good. For some people it will not be so easy because, you know, I am a hardcore player. Uh, regarding the half anniversary comp, which best describes your experience? Man, it was fun and satisfying, because they give us a lot of characters to choose from the new Platinum styles. They also give a lot of free tickets. There was always something to wait on a new reset. I was always trying to get more tickets to see if I could get more characters. I got a lot more characters in November and December. My gameplay is totally different now. I can play different strategies, especially because of how many gems and also tickets they gave us. I also really enjoyed the blue and rouge banner, the step up, it was for everyone, people could just use free gems, sadly they took a different path after rouge and blue, because, hey, yeah, I understand that they're part, but people will always want something for free as well. I believe that they, if they need to keep releasing uh, paid step ups, they should do at least one free, they choose the character that they want to do it, and then the next one can be a paid one. But at least cycle between one and another so that people don't get upset. Well, uh, for the following half anniversary content, which batch describes your opinion? <laughs> the login bonus was very satisfying. The limited event was also satisfying, but the problem is just that they released uh, too many events in December. Event missions was okay, the summons there was a lot of different characters that perform a lot of different roles, very nice. Original styles. Right, that was Fuse, and he was pretty satisfying. <laughs> if you have any more to say regarding the previous question, please write it. Well, uh, next time, <laughs> don't release Conquest and Holy Stones on the same time. This was like uh, one of their faults. I believe that it was two very grinding events that people were not familiar with, and they released it alongside each other, and that was not exactly the best approach that developers could do. Um, next time, if you release two very grindy events make it at least one week 
fart. Or wait one to end to release another. That's my opinion. Regarding the Conquest event, which best describes your experience? It was fun and satisfying. Man, there was a lot of chance, there was a lot of stays. I spent so much time trying to document the Conquest. I finally finished it. But I'm finishing also uh, a text guide that I'll be explaining that will explain how all conquests will work from now on. So, when it's ready, I'll be posting it, especially on the community bar and on my Discord channel. That if you're still not subscribed, please click on the link of the description as well. You can get to our Discord channel that we always discuss about Saga and other games. If you have more to say regarding the previous question, please write in. Um... One thing that I don't really understand about Conquest is that the first part are, uh, only unlocks 15% of the conca Conquest and the second part uh, unlocks all the remaining 85%. So I believe we, uh, uh, they can change this. Release more content on the first part of the event. So that it... Where is it? Get overwhelming. Yes, that's my opinion on this part. And would you join a guild if that future were added to Saga Universe? Yes, I would join a guild because <laughs> I am not exactly a fan of competition. But if a guild is used for co-op, well, totally yes on me. Which of the following would influence your willingness to join a guild, and how important would it be? Member interactions is very important, of course. If they release a guild, they need to have you, uh, member interactions. Ability to get... <laughs> of course. The rank of my guild. I really don't like this. Great game information. Well, uh, for me, it's not that important. The guild is usually um, fine to chat, but usually the squad or their communities are better for discussing the game content. Usually, I never seen a chat inside game that was perfect. If you have any more to say regarding the previous question, please write in. For guild, I suggest um, making it not competitive against other players. But instead, a way to hope and play together. That's my opinion. If there are multiplayer battles for guilds, which format would you prefer? Battles against other players' teams? Boss battles. I believe boss battles and raids. Raids. Well, I don't really, really care too much about this, but I don't want to have battle against other players teams. This will change the dynamic of this game, and this game is more about solo gameplay and not exactly about competitive gameplay. So next one, for the following expects of SS Fuse, which best describes your opinion? The artwork, I'm in indifferent. Actually, I like old art styles, but they could have made it better, because uh, when they released the Saga Frontier Remaster, they would probably use that original art style for Fuse, so they could have tried to make it more appealing to the general audience. They could have used a different art style, and in my opinion, that would be better for people to try to invest in the character, especially those that didn't know about Saga Frontier. Uh, he is very strong, I really like the character, but that's my opinion. I'm a huge fan of Saga Frontier. Okay, so lastly, if you have any suggestions on feedback, please write it here. And guys, once again, I believe that it's where you say that we need an auto repeat button. They will keep saying that they don't want to add, but if people keep asking, they will finally get themselves cornered and feel like it's finally time that they add it. So please add uh, auto retry. 
But and also and also make it it a little easier to get status. Since this is the uh, current complaints from players that quit the game because of not having enough time to play it. Either because they don't have the auto retry button or either because they find it very hard to get status in the game. So, well, I think this is it. Let's click here on send. And yeah, we just sent our uh, feedback and the player survey to developers. I believe this is something that everyone needs to do, not even because of 300 jailers, because these developers take into consideration our opinions. At least not for Auto Retry, but, <laughs> but you know, if we keep asking, I do believe they can change their minds. So this is it guys, thank you all for watching this video, please subscribe if you still haven't, join our Discord channel, I changed it for good since yesterday I'm working on that, because we are to receive new content and more stuff, and I believe you guys will enjoy it. So we see each other on the next video. Bye.